I don't know why I do that. I think it's cute. I feel like shit today, y'all. For real, for real, for real, for real. Yesterday we ordered pizza. And Heather's stomach has been messed up. But, thank you all for watching yesterday's video. Um, of the package opening. And um, me telling you like what's going on with my eyes a little bit. But I just want to, you know, I'm here about to grow up. Yes, I just made this. Yes, my tree is a little beautiful. It's not lit yet. Yep, presents already under the tree. Look, fish, fry fish. You got the chips, which are fr homemade fries. And then a cool saw. Yes, that is a spoon and a fork on my plate, y'all. Heather likes to eat with a spoon, but because I have um, fish there, I have to um, use the fork. So, how is it? It's good. It's delicious? Mm -hmm. The batter is alright. The batter is not spicy? No. I use a different kind of a batter. I usually do the one I do for my chicken fingers, Chinese chicken fingers, but because my stomach is messed up, I couldn't do all that. So this is a Louisiana um, fish, I'm sorry. Not spicy at all. Mmm. It's crispy, like I said. It's very crispy. I hear you crunching. You hear me? Mm-hmm. That's the coleslaw. How is coleslaw crunchy? Mm -hmm. That's the coleslaw. <laughs> oh, no, it's crunchy. Mm. I was craving it. Fish and chips. <laughs> so... Everybody's sending, you know, sending prayers and stuff like that. I, I, I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. But it's something that I have to actually remember. I've been having toxoprosmosis in my brain since 2012. And I was on the chemo radiation and all these other, you know, um, medicines for the toxo, it doesn't go away. What happens is, it gets, go to sleep. And it, like, hibernates, in other words. Um, yes, it's a parasite. And you can get it from multiple things, not just cat feces. Get from pig, cow, meat, any meat. You pretty much get from anything. So if you have a low immune system, like I did at the time, you are capable of literally getting anything. You know? Especially being HIV positive. Because what happens is your body starts shutting down. And what happens is other things start fighting against that. But that virus will take over. And that's what happened. Was the toxoplasmosis took over my brain. That's how I ended up having the severe stroke and all that stuff in 2012. Now, I've been telling my doctor for a minute that I feel like my toxo is coming back. Oh no, it's probably seeping. I wish doctors would actually listen to their patients when they know. I'm just being real. All this could have been avoided. Mm-hmm. I know, just, you know. So, 
And then I told him I was having seizures. I took Manny to go see the doctor because he goes to the same doctor I do, but for something else. And he's like, yo, where's my wife's seizure medication? Oh, oh, I forgot. I thought, no, you did not. You know, I've been telling about my seizures. I've been telling them about, you know, my toxoplasmosis. Like, they don't give a fuck, you know? I mean, I know when it's coming active because I started having seizures periodically. No, it's not. And I've been fighting all these years with the toxo, you know, what? 10 years. And I, I know how, how what it feels like. You can actually feel them in there. And you get, I get bad pain right here in the top of my head. Feels like somebody's hitting you in the head with like a sledgehammer or something. So. There is mess for it, but you got to wait for the doctor. You know, I, I don't know what to do, y'all. Like. All I want to do is cry. And. I, you know, I fight, I fight my, I fight my son is very well. I will smile, I will, and, and, and laugh, and, but really on the inside, I'm hurting. Because I go through so much on a daily basis. And, you know, I'm fighting really to stay alive. We're being used as guinea pigs, pretty much, because the new HIV medications or any other new medications that come out, they want to try it on us first. Am I correct? You know, and I wish they would just listen to their patients when it's their patients that is going through this problem. Not them, because they don't know how I feel. They don't know what the pain feels like. Are they HIV positive? Do they have toxoplasmosis? Do you understand what I'm saying? So, I've been going through so much in the past 10 years. Yeah. I'm, I'm just like really over it, y'all. For real. I'm not ready to go nowhere. I'm sure not ready to be blind. What the hell am I going to do? You know what? I was feeling a dick in my left hand, what, two weeks ago? Yeah. Two weeks ago. I have no feeling of this in this arm, hand either. It's been like two weeks. So now I have two hands are numb. And the pain that you go through, being numb from a stroke, <laughs> you would know, when, if you had a stroke, you know what I'm talking about. Alone. It's just crazy, y'all. So I'm waiting for my new glasses. They should be here sometime this week. Yeah, I've been wearing the same shirt. It's comfy. It's big. It's like a bum around shirt, you know? It's just like, I don't know what to do. I can't afford to lose my eyes. I, I, I really can't.
That's that would be more work on my husband. Nah, man. Mm -mm. When I have my throat, man, he helped me through everything, bro. Like seriously. Yeah, but we're trying to get this early and get it done fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, about. Get this No, I don't want to do that. So, the quicker we see you, the quicker we give you meds, the quicker it goes away. But that is permanent. That is in the okay, part of it. Like that. You don't want it to get worse. Yeah, they're eating a hole through my eye. When it doesn't heal, you will lose that. You'll be like this. If you get catch on the time, you'll be like that. Too. The way she said, oh my god, I just freaked the shit out of me. I don't know what was going on. You know? But, I just want to let you all know, like, what's going on in my head. You know? I have a lot on my mind. I really don't know how to go about this with my eyes. I asked many if I'm gonna lose my eyes, you know, like, are they gonna disappear? <laughs> because, you know, they're eating up my eye, so is my eyeball still gonna be there or is it gonna be gone? You see how you're having the problem looking right now? Yeah, everything is fucking blurry. That's gonna be permanent if they catch it right now. That part. But if they catch it late, you get with the blind that you get. Yeah, I ain't trying to be quicker, blind. The quicker you get it done and fixed, the more it stops. Then you won't have to go get blind and blind. And the fucked up thing is I'm allergic to the medication that they have for the toxoplasmosis. Stop. Thank God you're not allergic to the main one. Yeah, the sofa I am. That is the main one. No, it's the, 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 the sofa to pee. Hmm. Yeah, chemo did too. But I don't know. I called my caseworker, my doctor, the lady that works with my doctor. I'm just waiting for a phone call. And see what, you know, what can happen. But uh, I'll keep you all in the loop on um, what's going on and stuff. But this dinner is freaking fabulous, y'all. I ate pretty much a lot. It's good. Mm. I was dying to eat some fish and chips. <laughs> but please, if you guys made it this far, leave a thumbs up. Share this video out. Let's try to get like 30 thumbs up, y'all. Or 100 thumbs up. Hey, my views are getting good. I should have 100 thumbs up from y'all. Like, seriously? But I love you. <coughs> Please tell your family and your friends about Heather's family vlogs and tell them to like, subscribe, share, follow me, literally on everything. Remember, hit that notification bell. Oh shit, what do you want me to do if I put my brand new videos? I love each and every one of you. God bless. Peace.